Re yeah, it reduces his health a bit. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, what do we got? Oh, fuck me. This is just obnoxious. Um, alright. Ah, no. Let's go over there. You go there. And you go there. You go <laughs> there. And you go there. So then hopefully these two guys will take ages to get over this way. So hopefully I'll just be able to kill out the kill these two. And then move on to this one and this one and this one afterwards. We'll see how we go. Uh, can he reach me there? No, he can't. Perfect. Move to here, please. Attack this one for five damage. Beautiful. Yeah, lovely. It's the big ones that get to go first as well. Nice. Right, you go there, give this guy some defense, and stonewall yourself. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I kind of... Whoops. I didn't think that through, did I? <laughs> Whoops. Oh, well, that's fine. I'll just use all of her fucking... Um, willpower. Uh, okay. Can you reach? You can reach him. Alright, let's go. I don't know how well this is going to work. That's alright. It's alright. <laughs> no, no, Faust will work on them, but she's she's at school at the moment, so she's not got a huge amount of time. Eh, they'll get there when they get there. They'll, uh, they will be worth it, I promise. I promise. Uh, whoop, wrong button. Attack this dude. Armor. Please. Okay. They're getting closer, and I'm not happy about it. Uh, five and five. So we want to move him to here. And attack. Who's going next? Oh, it's that dude over there. Yeah, it's that dude over there that's going next. That's fine. So, doesn't really matter which one we pick, does it? Nah, this one's closer. So let's just kill him. Get that dealt with. Now, this could go badly. All of the armor. Nice. Good shot. Good shot. This is going to be bad. Oh no, you idiot. You took off all the armor on your little dude, the friend there. Silly, silly. It's perfect. And also pushed him away, <laughs> which is also nice. Attack him. Armor. Lots of. Beautiful. Oh, that's not good. Well, we got a mender though who can mend his armor, so let's do that. Let's actually do that. Uh, mend this dude, please. For lots. Beautiful. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. Here. Attack this guy. Armor. Oh. Lovely. Oh, yeah, and he splinters as well. Oh, dear. Yeah, and so now we can go in and just, like, kick the shit out of this guy. Good. He's now useless. He is now useless. Um, right, he's also now fairly useless. Uh, move to here, please. Attack this man uh, for two, making him also exceptionally useless. Oh, he's used to. He's, oh, this fucker! God damn it! Um, yeah, you can now kill him. Thank you. Do so. Lovely. Oh no 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 no! Oh, that's a that's a bad one. Yeah, you can still do you can still do his armor break, so that's fine. Ugh, this is going poorly. Um, hang on a minute though. 
abilities. Arc lightning. Oh, this dude will attack this one as well. Let's try it. Probably going to hurt Egil as well, but we'll see. Nope. Beautiful. Oh, and we killed that guy. Fantastic. You just put him in a better defensive position as well. Every day you have to reassess who Egil is. <laughs> you keep forgetting, don't you? <laughs> is it just because you never used him? Alright, more armor break on this fucker. Please? Oh god, how are you not- Oh dear. Right, I think- No, 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 what am I doing? What am I doing? Stop that! Mark Prey, this should go well. Because the two archers are now just going to go, bye bye <laughs> Nice. We've done it. We've done it. Uh, run the fuck away. Stonewall, just in case. Just in case. And to turn there. Can you not hit him from there? You should be able to hit him from there. Oh, you're him. Whoops. I thought it was odd life. Let's go there. Because I think he's probably going to move that way. Oh, no. Or he's just going to be murdered. No, nah, wrong button. Stop hitting the wrong button. Right, now walk onto the trap. Oh. Hoping he was going to walk onto the trap. Could have killed. Yeah, I could have done, but it was more fun to do it with Mark Prey. <laughs> I fight. Okay. Uh, you can do literally nothing, so I'm just going to rest. You can. Hang on, if I give you. Forty. Oh fuck. Okay. Well, shouldn't have bothered with that. Should not have bothered with that. But anyway. I can't use any abilities because I don't have any willpower. This dude's just running away like a little bitch. There we go. Rook can get him. Rook can get him. I love it. He's so strong, he can just smack his axe straight deep into a solid rock bridge. That's how strong Rook is. He's a beast. Okay, good. At a break in the fighting, Ivan starts to rain down lightning at one of the bridge's supports further ahead. The dredge respond with confusion, shuffling away from the area. Then the Varl notice. What are you doing? shouts Vassal. Several more Varl join him. Ivan is locked on his task. Another lightning strike sending rubble into the air. Stop! shouts Vassal, drawing his weapon. The others fall. follow suit, ready to attack. Oh god. I don't want to kill Fasolt. Rook has those big boy muscles. He does. He does indeed. Oh, I don't want to kill Fasolt. Defend Ivan. We have to defend him. Stay, stay close, you tell the others, drawing your axe. I let this shaking so hard that you can see it from a distance. With a shout, Fasolt attacks. Fasolt! Also, everyone is injured. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, can't use Fassel anymore because he's on the other team. Alright, well. Let's put Hogan in then. Because he's like the only person I've got left. Onef was pretty decent, actually. Yeah, Onef's actually better. Even if he's injured. Give me that. Give me this. What does it even do? It's fine. Give it to him. He needs the dodge. Alright, let's go. <clears throat> I'll upgrade people afterwards. Oh. Ivan's having fun at the back there, I see. Oh, the I can see all of your pixels. Don't ever zoom in that far. Fasolt! <sighs> God damn it, Fasolt. Alright, well, there's four Varls. Um, okay. So... Let's all group. Whoops! Let's all group up about here. We'll put you there, Rook. You go there. You go there. Actually, no, Rook. You go there. 
And the ladies, take your positions at the back. Morgan and Morgan suck ass. They kind of do, actually. I liked them at the start because they seemed cool, but they're just, they're, they're absolutely terrible. They can't do very much damage and they can't do very much shield break. So it's like, there's not much they can do. All right, yeah, and then we've got a quadruple fucking shield wall here. Attack. Break the man's shield. I like that this Varl is actually helping us, though. Huh. Oh, but that's kind of cool. Hang on, I just noticed this. Because Fassel was injured in my team, he's injured here now as well. <laughs> that's awesome. That's really cool. I like that the, the continuity there. I like that a lot. Um, Alright, move to here. So we continue with the shield. Shield break on Fassel, please. Uh, oh, that's a lot of damage. You dick. Mm. Alright, let's keep going. Because we go armor on this, then it's going to be Rook's turn. Yeah, this guy can't do anything. It's going to be Rook's turn soon, and then this guy's going to have no armor, and there's going to be three attacks on him, and he's going to die instantly. Good deflect. Right. You ready? Mark Frey. Get absolutely fucked. Minus 15! <laughs> you can kill Fassel before this point. Huh. That's weird. Oof. That knockback, though. Alright, continue with armor, Dodgy. I didn't see any point where I could have killed him, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just... I'm potentially just unobservant. Uh, Alright, now we just do the same with this guy. Break his armor, and then we'll get Rook in to fuck him up. Oh, that... Yeah, he's dead now. And he doesn't get another turn for ages. Wait, is it actually? It's not actually the dude with the same portrait as that, is it? No, it just says Varl Strong Arm. That's fine. Mark Free. Bye bye. <laughs> Minus 13. It's so good. You just got him. Oh, that's weird. I can't think of it. As I say, I just can't think of a way for that to happen. But I believe you, of course. Uh, deal all of the armor damage to this man. Oh, bye bye, Eagle. Oh, wow! You decided just not to attack him. That was strange. Okay. More armor damage. Vassal. Oh, and you're doing the threatening thing, which is just. Excuse me? 14 damage. Oh, this is unfair. <laughs> That's just unfair. Alright, you're probably going to die as well. That's alright, as long as we just get Rook to do the same thing again. We do Mark Prey. Get absolutely dusted. Well, probably not too much, actually. Because you've still got quite a lot of armor. Yeah, I didn't think that one through, did I? Alright, armor down, and then let's just be able to one-shot him. Yep, there you go. 13 damage. Woo! Alette the fucking sniper. Woo! Nice. We have killed Fassel. God damn it. And Onef's injured. But Onef was injured already, so he's probably just gonna be like super injured now. Dead Varl lie at your feet, their blood on your hands. You're pulled from your creeping revulsion by a thunderous crack, and suddenly Ivind is rushing past. Run! He screams. The stoneworks crumbles behind you, and the other Varl flee for your lives as the bridge collapses around itself into the deep abyss beneath. The dredge who have not been taken with it scramble over each other to outrun the collapse. We are going to be in so much trouble right now. Hey, Vordalak! Yes, this is the first time I'm playing it. Sorry, I was too busy looking, reading the dialogue. Yeah, this is the first time I'm playing through it. It's going... well. 
I think. <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah, the story is fantastic. Really enjoying it. It's really surprising me as well. There's nothing predictable about it, which is kind of cool. When the dust and snow clears, you can see a yawning gulf between you and the dredge. This won't be. They won't be crossing it again. Rough hands from a screaming mob of varl pull you from the ground to the great hall. Was there not just one thing I demanded of you? Yorinder launches from his throne, pointing an axe in your direction. You've broken this alliance, human. Man and Varl are no friend to each other anymore. This is my reward for allowing men in Einar Tuft. Do not blame all of humanity for my... There is a bustle from the back of the hall. The Varl part around a shadowed figure entering the room. Oh, he's only got one arm now, the poor bastard. Yorinder, enough. This fight could not have been won. They did what you were unwilling to do. Enough of this insolence. I want these people out of my city. I didn't kill Ludin. Ludin's not dead. He's alive. He's fine. As far as I'm aware. I've seen him somewhere. <laughs> He's still alive. I just punched him in the face and he got carted off by the Varl. It's fine. You'd gladly let our whole race die? There is nothing glad about it. There are no more Varl being made tomorrow. Or a thousand years from now. We are all there is. And we will all be gone someday. You've destroyed what we have made. What else is left of us? Will we leave no trace behind, as if we never existed? We have nothing left but ruins. Now get out of what is left of my lands and my city. And never return. The guards pull you roughly from the Great Hall, where your caravan has been hastily gathered together. Ooh, chapter 6. Wow, that was a quick chapter. Of our bones, the hills. Loot a little bit. See, <laughs> see, liquid. Everyone agrees with me. Everyone agrees with me that Luton is a little bit. Everyone. You are the only one who likes him. <laughs> oh, thank you, Vertisac. <laughs> We've been having this discussion for weeks now. Minus seven supplies. Awesome. That's what we like. More supplies are missing. The woman by a wagon says this again. Fucking hell. To you. And look, tracks. Right there, they look like children's footprints, but my husband and I follow them into the wilderness and the ways. They meet up with some adult tracks. No telling how many. Oh, for fuck's sake. Round up and question the children. Question parents about their children. Send scouts to the ground. Following you, have the children watched carefully. Ooh, that's a bit creepy. Round up and question the children. Your clansmen are on edge as you question the children. None of them seem to know anything about the food, but you manage to scare them more than you intended. Two brothers in particular are left on the verge of crying. Nice. Oh, shit. Well, I handled that poorly. Ludin is a, is a great who was about to learn what it means to be a man. <laughs> he was not. I had to fucking knock him out in order so he didn't cause issues. You stopped that lesson in its inception. Ah, I don't know. Up ahead, a scout shouts. Some giant hall, but it's empty. How can you tell it's empty? You approach the structure, but recognize none of the markings. The walls seem unsteady at best. Finally, sleeping beneath a roof, you overhear. Several families begin unpacking. <laughs> yeah, he is a great. Well, I'm sure he is a great. We sleep in comfort tonight. Just keep everyone back until you're certain it's safe. It was abandoned for a reason. Leave it. Look for any clues about why it was abandoned. That one. Whomever left it here must have had a good reason, you tell the caravan. But after a few tiring hours of searching for clues, you have no answers. The frustration of the wasted time is apparent on the clansmen's faces. I sleep in the old hall. We'll be fine. It's probably just haunted. Cheers erupt as people flood into the building. A varl leans against a supporting pillar. It cracks and brings down a portion of the massive roof, crushing a number of clansmen with it. Fuck's sake. Fucking varl. You clumsy bastard. Sadly, the rubble is too deep to recover their bodies, and you leave the building behind with regret. Was that necessary? Was that really necessary? <laughs> oh well. We're going to end up with like two clansmen left at the end of this. It's going to be nothing. <laughs> it appears that large figures following from the direction of Einertoft. Odd Life watches intently before finally saying, They have a cart. I can hear it. Oh no, that's Old Life, sorry. They have a cart. I can hear it. I'm getting the voices confused now. 
<laughs> you slow you slow to get a better view and spy a small caravan of Varl. Eventually they catch up. Greetings, Ivor. It's been quite a while since we talked, hasn't it? I know you. Ubin. Never imagined you to be one to defy the king. What made you leave? Christ, these guys have almost the same voice. Someone had to. What do you mean? Bellower is heading this way. Already? How is that possible? A group of Val from Wormtoe showed up about the, around the back of Einatoft. The long way. Bellower and his army chased them across the summer path, they said. Past Wormtoe? That doesn't make sense. Bellower was at the bridge. He must have doubled back after that serpent appeared. While we fought on the bridge, he led half his forces around to approach Einatoft from behind. The attack on the bridge was a feint. Don't let any anyone tell you the dredge aren't clever. Einatoft will fall within a day. Maybe not. He's following you. I thought one of you might know why. You exchange nervous glances, but nobody speaks up. Must be me, then. Is there something I don't know? That's quite a grudge he's holding if he's coming for you, Ivor. It doesn't matter. Our only chance is to get to Sigaholm. Juno will know what to do. Well, I'll join you. We'll join you. I come bearing supplies and warriors who would be happy to kill a dredge or two, I believe. Plus 40 supplies. Bower. <laughs> now the real banner saga starts, which continues in BS2. Ah, okay. Nice. So how much, how much longer do I have in this game? I have no idea how long it is. I think I've been playing for about, ooh, what is it, 10 hours or so now? Something like that. The caravan stops at a split in the road. Ahead, the path leading to Sigerholm veers off in... Oh, excuse me. Hiccup. Veers off into the hills, which are now swimming with familiar black shapes. Dredge that way too? Grimace is Ivan. The summer path leads straight to Sigerholm. While taking the main road will add several days. They're every way by now. They're every way by now, replies Ubin. I suggest we go around past Hauk's top. Ubin is quite smart, so I think I'm going to follow, follow his advice. I hate to say it, you tell Ivan, but I'm not willing to walk into swarms of dredge anymore. Juno will have to wait. You turn toward the long... The, you turn toward the long round around Augstorp instead. The right... The, the English in this is getting worse the longer we go through. Augstorp said, hoping you've saved lives in the process. Now the setup world building exposition is done and the story starts. Oh, good God. Not too much longer. Okay, that's cool. Oh, fuck. Morale, morale, morale. Pay attention to the morale. Okay, rest. And yeah, also healing people. There we go. Lovely. Uh, I've got 39 renown now, actually, as well. Have a good evening as well, Vordalak. Thank you for stopping by. <laughs> it's nice to see you. Um, yeah, I need to upgrade some people. Ivor. Ivor can still fight? Good lord. That's impressive. He's only got one arm. I suppose he's just called a strong arm, not a strong arms. <laughs> uh, anyway. Let's give him that. Wait, why has he got points available? That's weird. Why did Ivor have points? I don't know. You were about to make that joke. Hey, got there before you. <laughs> Promote this man. Yes, confirm. And give him another shield. Ooh, that's four. Ooh, and three. Ooh. Ooh. Tasty. Who else? Egil, I, Egil, I think you need a promotion. Look how bored he looks, though. Fucking hell. He deserves a promotion. <laughs> um. All right. One more of those. One more of those. Confirm. Who else wants promotion? You! Continue. Yes. Yes. And one more armor. Promote! What happened to Hokon and gang? They got... They, we, we saw them briefly at... Um... I don't remember what it's called now. The, the, the Varl place that we just destroyed the bridge at. We saw them very briefly there, and then they were sent off somewhere else to go do something. I know, that's nice and specific. God, she can be promoted again. Whew. Good old... I need more renown. I don't have anywhere near enough. 
Um, okay, that'll do it. That will do it. A scout returns with a nearly frozen child. Oh god. I almost stepped on her in the snow. Looks like she must have been running from something, he says. Patches of blue mottle her pale skin, but her chest rises and falls ever so slightly. Even just carrying her along could kill her in a state like this, says a woman. We could be in danger here, points out another. Should have fought more three chapters ago. <laughs> no. I did as much fighting as I could. Um, keep moving, we'll let the healers tend to her. Stop the caravan for us and tend to the girl. Let's be nice. As the caravan's tents rise, a fire is built beside the girl who is covered in furs and ointments. Progress is slow, but soon you see the girl alive enough to swallow water and some heated broth. When you wake the next day, a healer tells you the girl should be fine in time. Hey. Minus four fighters. Minus three clansmen. What happened to them? What happened to them? Motherfucker. You enter a village of miners who want to know what has been happening recently between the rumblings of the quake and the sightings of dredge in the distance. As you look around, you see a lot of elderly and children and know that these people will only be more mouths to feed. Hmm. Encourage them to join you. Let them make their own decision. Don't expand the gap. Let them make their own decision. You welcome anyone who wishes to join the caravan. Many do, while others choose to stay in their homes and see things through. You wish them luck. Just clansmen, no fighters. Motherfuckers. God damn it. Old age. <laughs> yeah, it's possible. I've only got... F Days worth zero. Oh, I'm out of supplies. Hadn't even noticed. That's not good. That is not good. I may... Everyone is going to starve to death now. This is an issue. Oh, fuck. Even the music knows it's an issue. <laughs> Look at that! Shouts one of your clansmen. The caravan stops to watch Dredge pooling into the village you just passed through. I hope anyone I hope anyone who stayed behind got out alive, says Alette, but you have your doubts. Oh, is that why I lost people? Uh, okay. Makes sense. I didn't even notice. Didn't even notice that I'd run out of supplies. They're coming, says Ivor, pointing out a line of Dredge leaving the village and marching towards you. As you watch, the Dredge in front falls over, then the one behind it falls as well. You hear a twang to your left. Nid, the archery student of Odd Life, Nid, who you recall deftly shooting a snow rabbit, is firing arrows down the hill. Another dredge topples. That's incredible, says Odd Life, squinting. But we should get out of here. Odd's right, let's go. Return to the village looking for survivors. Hold on, let her do a few more. Yeah, a few more trick shots. Do a flip. The next shot bounces off a dredge's armor, but the one after that doesn't. And the colossus falls to a knee. Another dredge goes down before you get moving again. Why don't you come along the next time you want to try out that bow? You tell Nid, who nods. Nid nods, <laughs> with a smile on her face. Morale improved. Oh shit. Everyone is going to die because I'm going to run out of supplies. That almost rhymed. Oh god. Unar, the quirky old man with the. Oh, it's him again! I love him. With the leather headphones says, If there's one thing I know better than women and me, it's well. He smiles. Well, nothing. <laughs> but I know what a group could use some help. Just nod and let old Unar make things everything better. No questions now. We'd appreciate any help. I'd rather not have any surprises. What are you talking about? We'd appreciate any help. He said no questions. That evening, Unar clears his throat and loudly recites the tale of travellers, ending with war and death behind them, seeking hope instead. They carried on with courage, using heart and head. A strange poem, but the caravan is happy for a change of pace. Unar bows and turns to assist the cooks. The evening's meal is larger than ever, yet the supply wagon seems more full than before. You look to thank Unar, but he is gone. Hey, Unar. There we go. Could have used you before I lost all those people before. But I do like Unar. He's a magic man. Right, we may not die in that case. We may actually not die. I have no renown though to spend. Oh. 